Thank you very much, Duke, and thank you all for allowing me to be here and visit with you tonight. And uh, Doc, thank you for that very enlightening uh, uh, report on the border trouble. We all know how serious it is, uh, and uh, hopefully there will be an end to it at some point. But, um, I'm Parnell McNamara. I'm running for sheriff from McLennan County, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself and, and uh, about my career and so forth. But I grew up here in Waco. I was born here, went to school here. I attended Baylor University. I got a degree from Baylor, a BBA in uh, business administration. I majored in uh, management, minored in marketing. And uh, after that, I went with the United States Marshal Service. Uh, to give you a little family background, uh, my grandfather was a deputy sheriff here in 1905. He later became a U.S. Marshal, or Deputy U.S. Marshal. His brother Guy McNamara was a constable here. He was later the uh, Chief of Police of Waco, then uh, Roosevelt appointed Guy McNamara the head United States Marshal, and he moved from Waco uh, to San Antonio, which was a headquarters. Uh, my father, T.P. McNamara, was the uh, Chief Deputy Sheriff here in McLennan County when he was 21 years old. He put in 10 years with the Sheriff's Department and the state and then uh, in 1942, he went with U.S. Marshals. And uh, he put in right at a little over 36 years with the U.S. Marshal Service. I put in 32 and a half. My brother put in 34 years with the U.S. Marshals. So we kind of came from a, a law enforcement background. And uh, I had a very good career with U.S. Marshals. Uh, the Marshal Service duties, their duties are very similar to the sheriff track down fugitives, we make arrests, we provide security for the federal courts, the federal judges, we serve subpoenas, we serve summons, <coughs> uh, we do drug seizures, we work very closely with the drug agents, we work very closely with DEA, the FBI, we work very closely with uh, Texas Rangers, DPS, McLennan County Sheriff's Department and Waco PD and all the surrounding police departments. And during that time, um, we did so many different things. We had some very high profile cases. Some of the cases that I worked on are still shown on 48 Hours. There's some that are shown on American Justice, uh, A&E. They involve serial killers that we tracked down. Uh, during my tenure as a deputy U.S. Marshal, we went after a lot of people. We went after drug dealers. We went after killers. We went after thieves of every kind. And I'm proud of that. Um, it was frontline law enforcement. I was out there on the front line with the other agencies. And uh, during that time, I received uh, several uh, awards for the work. I feel a little funny telling you about it, but I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, based on some of our cases, I received the highest award that the U.S. Marshal Service gives. That's a director's award for special achievement. That's for our work in rounding up and bringing to justice a horrible serial murderer that was right here in your community. And some of y'all probably remember that guy. I testified in two of the death penalty cases. We got him the death penalty and I did witness his execution. Not that that was a fun thing, but it was a very big relief to see, that, to know that this guy would never kill anybody again, especially young girls. That's what he specialized in, children and women. Uh, the DPS uh, gave me the Director's Award, which is the highest award that the DPS gives outside of their agency, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, DEA, um, the uh, Secret Service, gave me a special commendation for assisting them in their law enforcement effort, and several other of the agencies have also. My work was frontline experience, and... Uh, if I want to bring my 32 plus years of experience like that to the McLennan County Sheriff's Department. <clears throat> One thing that uh, Doc Anderson touched on, or the main thing he touched on, was the violence that is in Mexico on the border and working its way to us. I'm very concerned about what's going to happen once it gets in full swing up here. We're already getting touches of it, and that's the narcotics trade. Right after Christmas, I saw one of the most horrible things on uh, TV that I've ever seen. 
It happened in Juarez, uh, right across the border from El Paso. And what they did, they kidnapped a police officer the day before, and no telling what they did to him in the meantime. They threw him out of the car at 8.30 in the morning, doused him in gas, and lit him up in front of a bunch of people. And the horrified bystanders had to sit there and watch this police officer squirm as he burned to death right in front of them. It showed it on the internet. Police officers were standing around in their SWAT gear, and a couple of guys were up there taking pictures of this police officer that was still smoking, and he was already dead. That's hard to get out of your mind. We don't want that to happen here. One thing that I want to do, if I'm elected your sheriff, I want to do everything I can to reactivate the drug task force in some way. There's got to be a way to get funds. There's got to be a way to get grants to get some kind of funding to reactivate that. That is a multi-agency unit that that does undercover drug work, and it's unbelievable. I worked with the Agriplex Narcotics Task Force. I worked with the Brazos Valley Narcotics Task Force, and we put a lot of people away. I think within a period of just a few years, there were 1,100 criminals in this community that were sent to federal prison through this federal court here, and I was proud to be a part of that. Narcotics are the head of the snake. That's what's driving the cartels. That's what's producing so many burglaries out in the county and in the city. Violent crime, most of it is tied to narcotics. They're either on it or they're trying to get uh, money to buy it. And uh, I see you got one minute left. Yeah. That's, that's actually about 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. Uh, anyway, I intend to do everything that I can if I'm elected your sheriff to make McClellan County a safer place to live. I'm not afraid of the criminals. I want to go after them. I will also address the administration of the sheriff's department and the jail. And uh, I know that is going to take a lot of doing there, but I'm ready for it. I'm going to surround myself with good, competent people that will help me do that. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support and your vote. I'm the Texas, Texas flag. I'm the Texas flag. I'm the Texas flag. I'm the Texas flag. One safe, one God.